second day here at the Miami National Boat Show. It's Sunday. Yesterday was a total washout. Torrential downpours all day long. So we're going to see what we're going to see today. It includes uh, two sea trials. We're going to be doing 80 miles per hour on a Mercury racing boat. So excited to see that. And we're going to try to get on the uh, Everglades boat. I missed the other day. The water taxi, I think, is generally faster than doing the shuttle bus. But again, you can't go on the water taxi until you actually have your tickets. And it's more scenic. to get your show bag it also includes a guide a complete guide which is going to have a map it's a massive show so you're going to want to have a map to know how to get around as well as times and so forth and the different events this is what you're going to be getting inside of there it's pretty thick pretty comprehensive it has a listing of every boat every company so you could always figure out where things are there's different shows different exhibitions so they have a schedule of all of that as well and you have a great bag that you can fit other flyers and information and brochures from all the different boats you visit. So don't forget to get that when you get here. Now this is via the water taxi entrance. So this takes you all the way on this end of the show. Kind of in the center is where the bus shuttles would take you. Not that far from here. This section here is the Marine Mart. Kind of a variety of all miscellaneous types of things. There are some engines here, but there's other areas that are strictly only the engines. A little bit of everything here. This is the Costa Conservation Village. I'm gonna be coming back later on to see world-renowned Chef Allen. He used to have an amazing restaurant in the Aventura area. He's gonna be doing a demonstration cooking lionfish. And for anybody that knows down here, lionfish are an invasive species normally from Africa, but a lot of people have them for their, from their aquariums and they let them loose and they've been kind of wreaking havoc on the um, ecosystem here, coral reefs and so forth. So even like in Biscayne National Park, normally in a national park you can't do any kind of hunting, fishing, removal of even a grain of sand. They encourage people to catch as many lionfish as possible. They say they're delicious, cook them up and so forth. With me is world famous chef Chef Allen. The problem is that they have no natural enemy here. They have taken over the reefs all along the, the coast and they multiply so quickly, they mature so young and have so many eggs, almost two million eggs a year. So they're eating all of the small fish, all the bait fish, all of the, the regular fish on the reef. Uh, and that's why we really need to get rid of them. Uh, and they have no other natural enemy but us. So I'm encouraging you to eat them to beat them. So continuing further down here, there's a restaurant. This is a permanently fixed restaurant here all year long. They're open for business. Here's a look at their menu. Six oysters for 12, a dozen for 22, etc., etc. 
Nice and early, they got live music here. Coming up, you see there's already different tents. And this is one thing that's good is if it is raining, you've got a lot to do indoors at this boat shop. So as you know, 15 minutes or more could save you car insurance. But also, you can come over here to this booth by Geico and just enter. You could win $200 gift card. You could also win a remote controlled replica of this bad boy right here. So lots of cool giveaways throughout. Lots of entries or something else over there. Okay, so if I get this ring on that hook, I win a prize. Let's see if I can do it. No, you gotta kind of like let it go. <laughs> Sponsored by Starbright gas and diesel engine fuel treatment systems. They have a box office over here if you didn't buy your tickets in advance. Information area. Got an ATM if needed. And we're gonna go ahead into the media section. Maybe grab a quick snack. So let's see what they've got today. Oh, they don't have the danishes. The other day they had nice danishes. Showed some of this last year where you're actually pedaling and it causes paddles to move. So you're actually kind of like a bicycle in the water. On the water taxi right here, I met a woman who's in from Las Vegas and she's looking to buy a catamaran boat and needs to find a specific one that allows a tall person to move around inside because she said her husband is six foot six and that there's only two catamarans that even accommodate someone of that height. So this is really the show to come to. It's, uh, like I've said before, a very extensive show, something for everybody. Piranha Boatworks, it's pretty cool looking. Kind of reminds me of like a car color from like the 1950s, like a 57 Chevy. It's cool. On this end here, I think the east side. Some food trucks out on this side. Oh, this is nice over here. Half pound burger, 13 bucks. Nice seating area out here. Water refill station. 
Okay, so I'm over here at a water refill station and Abby's gonna explain how this works. So we're with Costa and they have an initiative that's kick single-use plastic. And so what we have here is a water refilling station so we can get these water bottles and you can refill them. Um, so it's basically to kick the single-use plastic because it's horrible for the environment and for fish and wildlife. Um, so we're just trying to reduce that with these reusable bottles. You can't actually walk over to the, you used to be able to, but I, I'm not walking on that. So I'll just go back through the tent B, boats, and we'll just go out the door that way. Should be a way out on this side. Let's just take a little stroll through here, make our way out to those sails. VIP lounge. We'll take a look inside and show what they have. Got some sushi. Winner, 2020 sale, best boats winner. Beautiful. This is a Beneteau. This one has been sold. Here are the specs for it. 31 foot. Has two cabins and one head. I know because the ones are So the French company they do both power boats and sailboats. I featured one of their power boats in last year's videos. Take a look for that.
Mercury Racing. I'm not sure exactly what the model looks like, but it's gonna be a Nortec. And we're gonna be going pretty fast. So there's a whole lot of food options here. It's called the Miami Marine Stadium Village. They used to keep the food trucks back here. They changed it around. So right now I'm in the center section, right behind the stadium itself. And I'm rushing over to that sea trough and Mercury Racing. Over here on Pier 4, we have yet another spot that you can eat at. Porto Stella. More food, more drink options. A big congregation over there. Let's see what's happening. Seems like something exciting is taking off. Outer limits. Does it say liquid Prozac? Beautiful HCB right here. The thing is so long, I could hardly fit in the frame on this camera. Look at that detail on the engines. But again, this year they moved their main location to the yacht show. A bunch of boats moving over to the yacht show, them and Marlow Yachts. Kind of looks like it might rain any moment now, so it's not a bad idea to be going under the tent for that demonstration. And here we have some electric boats. No gas. Kind of the uh, Tesla of boats. No, you have very cool. It's uh, bumped in Eva again. <laughs> okay, yeah, she's okay. at Jupiter. Yeah. Well, I'll um, see you later on. Okay, bye. That's fun. I'm always bumping into her at these boat shows. juice to it to each lemon and then just add that in there. They have the cheeks and then mango fingers. Okay, so that's gonna be a lionfish ceviche, which we're gonna taste up in just a moment. 
as I come around and that was absolutely delicious. I was eating that while I had the camera on the seat next to me recording. That was unbelievable. So lionfish, turns out it's really good. Well, especially when it's made by Chef Allen. So now we are going to continue our tour of the boats, but that was an interesting thing to see that here at a boat show, you could even get a demonstration by a world-renowned chef. All sorts of interesting things. And I like to each time I come here, try to show something a little different, whether it's, uh, you know, some of the accessories, something that's a little whimsical, and then also to do some sea trials. So we're not just looking at everything docked, get some action in also. from Spain. It's her first year at any boat show in the U.S. So you saw a little bit of that in the last video. <laughs> As in, like uh, the car, Toyota. Would be quite. A, this, I would like to have this Lexus. Yes, this is a Lexus I would definitely uh, want to have. Very nice. Who is this company over here? Let's take a look. Always finding something new every time I'm here. It really is Lexus. Oh, wow. As in the cars, Lexus. Amazing. Lexus Carver. Oh, Carver, yeah. Lexus. I can't believe I'm having trouble finding this uh, D'Antonio. So I just found out that the Lexus, uh, the one that you saw there, that gray one I was first showing, came in second place, best in show, at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. I totally missed it there. Just in case I missed it here, they're saying that there should be a dealer showing those at the upcoming Palm Beach Boat Show. So I'll see what I can fit in today.
Pier 6 is straight ahead. Somehow I missed it. You really do need to use that map because I thought I knew my way back to where D'Antonio was and I was totally off. A little bit of sun poking through the clouds. That's South Florida weather for you. Like there could be basically like a, a torrential downpour, thunderstorm, tornadoes, whatever, mind you, mini hurricane right there on the edge. And then you could be in the total sunshine like this. You're never quite sure what the weather's gonna do. It could be raining for just like five minutes. It could be raining all day. The weather's very unpredictable here. <laughs> So if I keep walking this way, I should come across one of the nice days. Wait. This is over here. Oh, it's right here at the Antonio Yachts. It's always interesting when somebody thinks outside the box, does something different, so it just doesn't look like the same old, same old. And I like that about that designer. sea trial on the Everglades. I just found out we're going with some customers. So we're gonna be going for a little longer ride actually out in the open ocean. And we're gonna be seeing a whole lot more. So might be skipping the sales for today. Probably just gonna do this, I don't know. We'll see what happens, I'm not sure. So anyway, here's a look inside. Now you saw a tour already of this on the other boats that we're on. And I just kept my backpack down here. And I'm gonna just use the GoPros. And we're already for the wind on north. Okay. All right, t-shirt. That's what I want. Awesome. I'm already sporting their t-shirt from previous years. Yeah, these two right this one? Oh, okay. I'm going to take a look. So I got a choice of these two. So when you come over here, don't forget the boat show is sponsored by Progressive. So make sure you stop at the Progressive area right here. There's all sorts of things, virtual reality, prizes. Um, they have these remote control boats. I'll just show real fast. They bring these every year. So it's a fun area for the family to kind of hang out, do some things, win some stuff, and operate some RC boats. So the Progressive is right here behind me in where the boats and sailing accessories are. Well, now I'm gonna hightail it back to get on a water taxi. Heading back on the lowest sand. 